All right, a new day. Let's play some Pokemon Showdown. Maybe some moderated random battles to start up the day. Dang it, I lost. And that's okay, we'll find something else to do. Hmm, maybe OU. Nah, these teams are getting kind of similar. I want to do something a bit different. Maybe doubles OU. Nah, I've played a bit of that recently. And I guess it's going kind of well, but still something different. National decks? Well, I did that in the beginning, but still. I want to try something different, but still. I kind of want to be familiar with the meta. What do I do? I just don't have anything to do. Unless... That's right, we are playing Monotype in OU, actually, and one of Flying, which I've never done before, actually. I've used a lot of Flying types in my team, well, specifically just Dragonite, Corviknight, Landorus, but I am looking forward to trying to use, um, Tornadus, Moltres, and Mantine. The team link is down in the description below. Definitely do check it out. Try it in modern type or be cool. Try it in OYO. Um, let's see how this team works. Alright, so we're going into our first battle here. Um, Alright, so threats that I see right now are Cloister and Weavile. So he's probably already clicked Weavile, is what I'm gonna assume. Um, I think our best bet here is gonna be Corviknight because he's physically bulky. He can take one of those threats. And ooh, so we're going into Garchomp here. Um, not sure. Or maybe we need a U-turn here. Stealth Rock. Ooh. We can, um, I see, I see, um, who's my other defogger? I don't have another defogger. Alright, that's okay, um, oof, it's already going down down here, but we will be fine. Alright, so we got the Intimidate, um, We can set up our rocks. Um, this is gonna help pressure. Alright, beautiful. This is what we need. This is what we need. Now we can roost up and go for our debug. Alright, that's, that's really good. And now our leftovers are gonna cancel with the burn. It's defog. Looks like we were able to outspeed it. Alright, Dragonite. Now we can set up Dragon Bands as he goes for a roar. Alright, alright. So we better do something about that. Um, if we substitute, can he roar? He can roar. Alright, alright, interesting. Do we just do... Or do we U-turn and then... Go into like Dragonite or something and then... Oh, on luck. Or... We Toxic first, I would say. Alright. The last two is coming out here. How much... So, roar can... Have a lot. I think we might not outspeed. So, um, I'm not sure if we can take a hit. So, I want to go into my tag. Alright, so he is going to go for that. 
Wait, oh, you can... Oh, alright. Beautiful. Alright, now he stays in. We got a forfeit. Oh, that is a forfeit. And basically my entire gimmick here with a um, Mantine is Waterfall Toxic Scald and then Roost Stall. So it's a good um, stall thing. It works on almost everyone. Maybe with the exception of um, Toxic Packs as it might not be able to withstand the um, what's it called? To uh, as it, toxic won't affect it, and we'll, we'll, we'll pull in uh, scald. We'll do basically nothing to it. Um, yeah, but this idea is not my own. I remember someone use it against me in a battle, and I thought it was really cool. I can't remember exactly who it was, so I'm sorry, but I think it was someone named Legendary Crybaby. Either way, um, they have a Twitch channel that I started checking out, and I will post a link to that in the in the description. So definitely check that out. All right, let's go into battle number two here. So I don't see any immediate threats. Um, I know a lot of people like to lead with Zero Aura here, oh. but Crobat could also be a possible startup. None of his other Pokemon can really do anything to us in my flying type. That's why I think Landris is going to be our best bet here. And the Urshifu. Oh, uh, the water type one. Alright, we can go into Mentech right here. And this is good because here we can actually um, use water absorb. So we're actually going to be immune to. It's called Surging Strikes. And that's going to be really crucial. But now, if we get the double in the Zero Aura, we're going to be at. A huge disadvantage state, and if you can read the land risk, which again, he might be in trouble. So, thinking from his perspective, um, the ice punch. Okay, um, we can go for whirlpool. All right. Now, I'm assuming he's gonna go for Leech Seed here, but, uh, still, yeah, Leech Seed, and now that we've gotten some chip on him, um, I think he might knock off, so, I'm not sure what we can go into, but I want to try out the Moltres here, um, we should be able to take a knockoff, especially we're at full health. We might just not be able to set up substitute though. Honestly though, um, modifying is scoring a lot better than I thought it would be. I I really like to use um, monotyping, and sometimes probably in upper tier it'll start some salt. Also, I hope you like my new um background here. I'm trying to try something where. I can make the background related to my uh, video, so tell me what you think. He's gonna toxic. Alright, that is okay. He is gonna go probably into a Cephalon or Shifu. I kind of... To Hurricane here. Hurricane is definitely gonna destroy. Um, maybe not destroy, but it'll. If it hits, it'll do a lot of damage to Urshifu. Maybe a knockout, which is what I'm hoping for. Um, Mosephalon, uh, and most all, all. 
and the rest of this Pokemon might not be great. So I kind of want to make a clean switch into Dragonite here, and maybe I could start setting up and stuff like that. Especially with no hazards. Um, okay, so we do know that he has Ice Punch, so it will be good to switch into our. Uh, Corbinite here, and then if he goes for Surging Strikes next onto our Corbinite, Mantine here is our best option. I'm making a lot of predictions, which I'm kind of liking. Yep, so he read. Of course, Corbinite! Every time I play with Corbinite, he gets frozen, I swear. Alright, that's okay. Um. Um, we'll try going into the man time and see if we are able to uh, trap a Pokemon in with our gimmick. Okay, so he's going into the man time here, or the Ferrothorn, um, which we are scared of. So. So, I don't think he will switch because he knows that I'm scared of his spirit or with my mentor. But, I don't want to switch directly into Moltres, as if he goes for Shifu and makes the good switch, then I'm in big trouble. However, Because our Shifu also has Ice Punch. Which is something we need to look up for. Another thing we can try is try to wait out the um, Breeze on Core of Night here. We have a few options. I think I want to play it safe. Definitely, as flying types can be pretty fragile. Um, especially Terrain is here. You have to get a clean switch, or else I can't do anything. Let's see what he goes for. As he goes for Leech Seed, alright. Um, now we just click Roost until it's time. So, Glarian Moltres, he's gonna try to set up here for sure, which might be a good time, especially as we resist on special attacks. And he is gonna go for. I'm to do it. Let's see if. How good Whirlpool can do about this. And it misses the one time we are really depending on it. Nasty Plot is coming again. So this is going to be a really dangerous sweep. As we miss again. Not looking great for us here. Um, let's go ahead, Roost. Prepare for the full blow. Close one. Really close. But will we, will we be able to take another one? I do not think so. We don't really have anything else that can take us. Look, 416 defense. This is the setup sweep that will end our team. Even if we outspeed it and we're able to break its um, substitute, which is what I want to go for right now, um, we can't do much after that. So I kind of want to sack off our um, Mantine here so we can get a clean switch and in toward Dragonite who's also pretty bulky and so we're gonna hit earth quick immediately oh I'm so stupid <laughs> all right now what um we'll just go for a um so we're gonna unless it crits now watch it crit. We're gonna be able to take. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. Um, we don't outspeed. Let's. Maybe the best thing to do is just to get the clean switch here, or go into our own mode trace after. Yes, this is not looking good. Um, I will go for substitute. 
Fairy Wrath is gonna kill us before we can do anything. And from here, it's gonna go downhill. We have to hit this Focus Blast. And if it kills, then a new miss and Fury Rat's gonna kill. Oh. And it's GG's from here. We lost. Um, it's okay, that's okay. He 6 0 does, but we learned. So, I wanna go back through this match and see where we messed up. And. We're frozen with Carbonite here. I like to play back until the very end, even if I know I'm gonna lose. Because we love nice clicks here. It says on this channel. But that was a good match. Let's go through and see where we could go better. Alright, so we have this first matchup. And this was a good switch in. Alright, now the Ferrothorn, and this is where we're gonna get into some trouble. I feel like my entire team is very dependent on each other, so if one Pokemon goes down, all of their Pokemon are gonna Alright, now what do we do? So we try to get the double of the Dragonite, and we are right. Now, I think it would have been better. If we okay, so the ice punch. I just wanna see if how much Urshifu would if we would be able to live that ice punch. Cause we were able to live a plus four um, or plus six stab theory wrath from Mol Galarian Moltres. And I know that this is four times super effective. But I think we would be able to tank it. So I'm gonna go check that one. Alright, so what do we have? We have the first Shifu Rapid Strike. Um, I don't know, whatever. What I'm. We spin maybe? Alright, um, and against our. Yep, this is it. Oh my god, we had a rooster, didn't we? I don't think that really matters. matters. But, um, we probably won't be completely accurate. Maybe not. Can I just say that it wasn't? Um, let's just say something. Run DMZ, even though that's not gonna do anything. Um. All right, so. All right, it's so a two-hit KO. So yeah, we would have lived one hit. Um, but that's okay. Um, so we should have gone for that duo when we beat there. That um, let's see if that would have killed. So now we grab a knight here. We grab a knight. And against Rishifu. We can type Rishifu Rapids. I hit KO, that really wouldn't have killed. Um, so yeah, I don't think that might have been the best move either, but I think I just realized. So Dragonite has multi-skill, and that's why we were able to live so much. So I think that's why Bruce is really important. So let's try to utilize that when we play with this team next time, but... 
that's gonna be it for this video here i'll i can if you guys want to review this battle too just let me know and i can put it in the comments or the description you guys can look through it once again the um team is in the description so check it out use it tell me your results in the comments and subscribe to my channel it helps me so much and it's no cost from you than just a little click of the button give me feedback in the comments too and i hope you enjoyed see ya